On today's episode, we're doing something a little bit more different than usual. And you're probably wondering, wow, you've been, you haven't done these pre-recorded stuff in a while. So today we're doing something that's going to enheighten our senses per se. We're going to do something that's going to get us to cloud. No, I got, I got nothing else clever to say. So I'm going to show you. This is called high seltzer. This is a uh, D8 infused. And what that means is Delta 8. Those of you not familiar, well, stick around and find out what it is. <laughs> so you're probably wondering to yourselves, where in the shit did you even get such a thing? Well, to be quite honest, it was... No, but seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it. But let's just say I know a guy who knows a guy. And I'm the guy who knows a guy. So that doesn't really make much sense. But anywho, yeah, this is the high seltzer D8 infused watermelon, watermelon flavor. Zero calories, zero sugar. So this is not going to get you in the in the hips or in the, in the tummy area. So it's healthy. To give you a little bit more information what Delta 8 is, I actually got my handy dandy Google at hand. Uh, Delta 8 is a tetrahydrocannabinoid, tetrahydrocannabinol to be exact. It's a psychoactive cannabinoid found in the cannabis plant. It is an, it is an oh, ice, isomer of Delta 9 tetra, tetrahydrocannabinol. It's a total tongue twister. The compound commonly known as THC. So uh, we're not really dealing with much CBD or else that's not what I not what it says. Uh, the ingredients contain carbonated water, natural flavors, hemp de uh, derived Delta 8, pasteurized. This does not contain any alcohol whatsoever. It contains five milligrams of THC, which uh, the research I've done, uh, five is the, the, the golden number for when it comes to these drinks. Anything above that, it's, uh, you're probably gonna want to just stay the fuck home. So as you can see, the can is a little bit beat up. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go little by little. Uh, uh, we're gonna do it in this little tiny cup. Maybe I'll maybe fill it up, maybe halfway. Wait like what, 30, 45 minutes? That sounds about fair. See where it goes and wish me luck, I guess, right? But first the smell. Okay, the smell is actually not as pleasant as I thought it would be. Maybe it's just the can. I'm gonna pour it out, see how it looks actually. Okay, I think that's a fair amount for starters. It's clear. To be honest, I thought it was gonna be red, uh, like the color of the can. It smells earthy. Shit, I dipped my nose in it, my bad. <laughs> it smells very, very earthy. It's almost like, like oily, almost. Well. That's really all I pick up. I don't pick up any watermelon at all. There's a bit of sweetness, hardly any. It's more like earthy, oily, tiny dash of sweetness. No watermelon though. But that's all I pick up on the smell. So uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little excited about it. Possibly a little bit nervous. I'm not sure, but uh, hey, that's what this experiment's about, right? I was told to review it and see what I thought. So cheers, they're going into the tasting now. Okay, there's zero watermelon in this. There's absolutely no watermelon in this at all. It tastes like, it tastes like I lick dirt. It literally tastes like I'm licking dirt or drinking dirt for that matter. That's really all I'm getting, like a dirt-ish, oil-ish kind of flavor. Zero watermelon. What happened to the watermelon? I have no idea. False advertising, hi seltzer. The fuck's up with that? Well, guess I'll keep sipping this. Will I finish this? I'm not sure. I'm not crazy about the flavor. But I guess let's see how it makes me feel. That's the whole point of this thing. So uh, we'll give it uh, the 45 minutes. Give me a sec here. I can't even place the can down because you can see it's a bit, uh, it's a bit dented there. 
So we're gonna put let's put 45 minutes. That seems to be that seems fair. 45 minutes, and we'll come back and see how I'm doing there. There we go. 45 minutes. See you in a bit. 45 minutes later. Okay, so it's been the 45 minutes and I can tell you that it's not crazy. Like I, I filled it up about this much and if my math is correct, that's at least three, maybe four ounces of it. But the, the so as much as far as like the, what I'm supposed to be feeling, I feel mellow, but not like a crazy kind of mellow. Like I'm still like, you know, whatever, right? Chill, nothing too crazy. But as far as the drink, I am not a fan of the drink itself. I don't know, maybe because like, like as you can see, maybe because they dropped it, something, some something leaked out, or I don't know what the case is. But I'm not crazy about the drink itself. Maybe, possibly, maybe if you mix this in a drink to kind of give it an extra, you know kick I, I apologize for the bird there my my brother-in-law's got a bird as far as like I said the drink it's I'm not crazy about it there's no watermelon in it like the fuck is that about I mean as, as far as uh, what I'm supposed to be feeling again not nothing too crazy so I'm gonna do one more and I'm only doing one more because I, again I'm not a fan of the flavor the flavor is just like terrible a beverage is supposed to be delicious and that's not the case here. Not one fucking bit. So what I'm gonna do for the second attempt, I'm gonna put a little bit less. I'm gonna put that much, cause again, <clears throat> I can't, I can't do the flavor. I'm not a fan of the flavor, nor the smell. Actually, now that I'm thinking, now that I'm uh, smelling it for the second time, I can get slight watermelon. Very vague though. It's like. The, the ghost of a dead watermelon smell. It's hardly there, but other than that, it's still like an oily, kind of dirt, earthy kind of smell. Not like a good, good kind of earthy, like a good like IPA or something. Like a, literally smells like, like dirt, like wet dirt. It smells like wet dirt. There goes another attempt. Yeah, no, it doesn't go down doesn't go down very easily. But this is all I'm gonna have, just for the for the, for the the feeling that they're supposed to get. Like I said, I feel mellow. How, we, how am I gonna feel after this? I'm gonna find out. No, man. Mm -mm. I'd rather, I wouldn't mix this in a drink. I'm probably, I don't even, I don't think I'm gonna be able to save the rest of this. I don't think I want to though. Or maybe, I don't, I'm not, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird, like I'm, I'm putting it in a cup because like I said, it's it's completely dented from the bottom. So I have to put it in a bigger cup. For those of you who are probably thinking like, why didn't you just chuck this entire thing in that cup? Once again, this is an experiment because again, I've never, I've had Delta 8 before. Never in liquid form though. So again, I, I put less this time because again, the flavor is just no, mm -mm, no. Mm. And I've had uh, straight up uh, CBD oil, but again, that's just straight up oil. So I understand the, the how potent that flavor is supposed to be. Like you could literally straight up like weed flavor, but this is a beverage. They should have at least worked on the watermelon to completely cover this up. Or maybe did I get a bad batch? I don't know, you, you guys let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried the high seltzer watermelon. Um, let me know if you've tried it and let me know if I did get a bad uh, can. I'm gonna finish the rest of this. I'm gonna wash it down with a Diet Coke. How about this? Diet Coke. With just a little bit, just for the flavor. I don't want to, I don't want it tasting like it. There. So I added a little bit more, but to Diet Coke, you can't smell it. Cool. That's way better. Yeah. This, this here needs to be in a drink. 
could put it in a cocktail and put it in some soda instead of Jack and Coke. High Coke. High Coke. Well, there's a name right there. Maybe, quite possibly. It might work, maybe. But uh, yeah, definitely works a lot better in the Diet Coke. Oh yeah. I can probably finish this entire can with a Diet Coke or any other drink for that matter. As long as it fucking hides that, that wet dirt oil flavor. I don't even care. All right, guys. I'm gonna cut it here. Let's do, let's do 20 minutes this time. And come back and let you know how, how it goes. 20 minutes later. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we just did the 20 minutes. And so far, I'm feeling the same way. Slightly mellow, nothing crazy, not even near close to crazy. Um, we still got, actually, I'm almost about to finish this thing. So uh, I guess, you know, to fully have the experience of the, of the Delta 8 high seltzer watermelon bullshit, I'm just gonna do what I did in the last uh, attempt. I'm gonna just, I could possibly use a little bit more Diet Coke. Uh, just give me a sec here. Uh. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I'm gonna refill, well not refill, just put in a little bit more Diet Coke, cause uh, like I said, I, I am, I'm gonna finish the damn thing, but I'm not gonna do it with just a little bit of Diet Coke. I need to hide the flavor of this crap. So here we go. Uh, Hopefully, oh crap, there's still a little bit more. I might have to use the big cup, actually. Uh, I think it's, I think it's clean. <laughs> We're good. We're good. So, I'm going to pour this in here, as so. And just put in the rest of that in there. And we're empty. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put Diet Coke, because I do not want to taste that fucking oily wet dirt flavor and there's a little bit of something on this cup i'm not gonna something i don't know what it is so i'm gonna drink it from this side uh more uh high seltzer d8 infused water melon flavor down the drain with diet coke cheers you can taste the earthiness uh in the soda in the diet coke but nonetheless it's uh it's much much more enjoyable than, than you were to have it on its own. Like, I don't know what these people are thinking. Again, leave it in the comments below if I did get a bad can or a bad batch, or I don't know what the case is, or maybe because like they dropped it and something they thought, I have no idea, guys. This is the first time I'm trying. Uh, not the first time trying Delta 8, but first this uh, first time trying it in a seltzer or liquid form. So leave it, leave it down there if I got a bad can or something, because that is that is not pleasant on its own. It is much, much more enjoyable, but just to hide it just a little bit more there. Some of you are probably thinking like, do what you would sing out, just drink the damn thing. Like, no thank you. I know what I like and what I don't like, that I do not like. Not on its own. Mm -mm. So you can still <laughs> taste the, don't mind the dog. You can still, you can still taste the, the oily, and slightly wet dirtish, but the Diet Coke is hiding it very, very well. So as of now, this is just, uh, I could replace this for maybe like a Jack and Coke. I'm not too crazy about Jack and Cokes because uh, for, for, for those of you who know, who've been here since the beginning, know that uh, the whiskeys and the bourbons, cocktails only. I don't like putting them in soda. I don't know what it is, but uh, I can totally replace the Jack and Coke for one of these. Okay, so I guess we're gonna take one more break uh, finish the rest of this, see how I feel, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it slow because right now, as you, as, you, as you saw, it's pretty much full cup. It was about this much left, uh, so so, and the rest is just soda. So I'm gonna take this slow, drink it nice, and you know, just keep it chill and uh, see how I end up feeling by the end of this entire seltzer. See you guys in a bit. 20 minutes later. Back, I failed to mention that uh, I put up a timer for 20 minutes. I failed that to mention in the past, but y'all don't care about that. Y'all want to know what this is doing to me. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm about to finish it. 
There you go. So I finished an entire can of the, of the seltzer, Delta 8 seltzer, watermelon flavor. And I feel, I feel good. I feel chill, I feel calm. Um, again, I'm not like stoned or anything like that. Just uh, a mellow, you know, calm. I did have it in a in soda for, uh, for like the rest of the maybe like half but uh, other than that I mean I may, maybe that might have affected it possibly but again I was not gonna have it on its own I cannot I can I, didn't, I couldn't stand it and uh, that's coming from somebody who has had uh, pure uh, CBD oil but that's oil understand it this is supposed to be a beverage a uh, beverage is supposed to be tasty Did not deliver on that one overall the drink and how it's supposed to make you feel chill i can probably go for another one or two and really just call it a day uh best part is no hangovers with these huge plus with that but uh yeah that's that's my review on this guys on its own no mix yes would i recommend it most definitely where can you find it don't know yet but uh, if you guys give me a good amount of likes or leave it in the comment box if you want uh, to see more of these I'll see if I can see may possibly get my hands on more and we can do this as well with the beer reviews and stuff uh, Like I said, this one was pre-recorded because this was an experiment an experiment went good thumbs up for that That's about it for that guys. Uh, leave a like uh, if you liked today's video if you are a consumer of Delta 9 uh, leave it in the comments and uh, of course subscribe if you like this or if you enjoyed the video if you're into all alcoholic beverages of all kinds of styles beers liquors cocktails movie reviews music reviews and sometimes uh, food and this is one of the newest ones to the edition and uh, hopefully you know we can do some more if you guys like this and of course hit the bell notification for the next upcoming video I will see you guys in the next one. And remember, if you keep watching, I'm going to keep drinking. Peace out, guys.